Hello there. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fandom Fights. I usually say welcome to an exciting episode of Fandom Fights. I'm going to say it again. This is going to be an exciting episode of Fandom Fights. I'm, I've really been looking forward to this one. I'm glad I got to make it to this. I'm Tim. That's Nick. Tonight, we got Coho, Caleb Coho, going up against Jacoby Bancroft. And uh, like I said, I've really been looking forward to this. These are two of my favorite people in the community, despite the fact that Coho, you know, says he'll do things and then doesn't do them. Still one of my dear friends in the community. But Jacoby, also someone I've really gotten to know over the last couple of years, delightful fellow. And I'm just excited because these two are actually playing like at the top of their game. You and I kind of said like Coho comes back. Does he do as well? And he's doing great. He's playing really well. He's he's hitting a lot of questions that I would have said, like maybe Coho doesn't hit that like a couple years ago, but he's hitting questions, playing great. And Jacoby is the current team's champion with Rue. And that's not something to be understated that Coho also has won that belt. Nick, this is one of those things where I've said a lot of stuff. What do you have to add? Because I know you got something. I do got something, Tim. Uh, you did lay a lot of the groundwork. I will add one additional thing is that this is Coho versus Jacoby 2. Uh, this is the second time they are playing. It's been quite a while since they did play. Mm. But last time Coho won, went on to a contender match and challenged for his first singles title. That's uh, right. It so well for him because he faced a very handsome champion who, yeah. you know, wrecked his shit. Um, yeah. But perhaps this time, I'm just kidding. It was actually very close, and I was very nervous. Uh, and Coho almost beat That was but, a great match. That is a really good match. <laughs> um, but the, the winner of this is in the exact same situation. Winner goes on to a contender match, possibly to challenge for a title. So I'm excited. You're excited. Maybe they're excited? I think they're probably nervous. Uh, also, these two have played in debate a couple times, too, which I always got to shout out debate if I can. And those matches are very entertaining. So I expect nothing less with this one. Let's go talk to them right now in the promos. Ah, I'm glad this isn't a debate because Joe Kobe would wreck my shit. Uh, he has my number there. Um, I've been very worried uh, about this match the moment that I found out I was playing Jacoby uh, just because we both become very different players since the last match. Uh, and Jacoby is, is, a, is really nice. I love the guy, but he's also so scary to play because like luck is just always on his side. Uh, he just always gets the best wheel spin, and it's the end of my, you know, playing career. Uh, so I, I put in a lot of work. I'll do my best. Uh, but, you know, I want this one a lot, Jacoby. I have a goal. So I'm happy that you want things, Coho. That's good. Happy you're back playing. It sucks that we're playing now. You know, I know we're basically two best friends on the greatest team ever, Parlay. Uh, I know you and I talk, like, basically twice a day, t telling each other about our days. So I know this is just a blood feud match that we have where we both know each other's strengths and weaknesses inside and out. Um, but I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm coming in here with my brother in arms here who we've been close for so long. Uh, no, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I always like to have fun. I'm, I'm more nervous as, you know, as we keep going and cause as Coho says, like, it's like, I, I know that I'm intrinsically a, a lucky player. So, and I just, but the problem with luck is that it does eventually run out. So will it today? I don't know. I hope not. Let's go Coho. Let's do this. Nick, a couple things. Uh, Coho, the mustache is growing on me. Um, growing I on him too. yeah, I, <laughs> that's fair. I didn't like it at first, but it's growing on me. Um, secondly, um, is Jacoby a lucky player or a bold player, Nick? He also has a mustache. 
Let's get into it with round number one. How's it going to work? Round number one is going to work like this. There's going to be 10 questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each player is going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer. At the end of 15 seconds, we'll say pens down, at which point the players will reveal their answer and say it aloud. Each correct answer is worth one point apiece. Any individual player get all 10 questions correct. In round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each player will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Players, any questions to begin round number one? Let's do this. Your first question comes in the category of law and order. You will find statues filled with counterfeit money in which Law and Order movie? So. so whoa, what? You know what you did. What did I do? You know what you did. What did I do? Just look at that, the thing that we just read. And then, the think, about it, and then think about your actions. Five. Your Four, recent three, actions. Three, two. Repeat. One. Okay, that's going to be the first repeat for Jacoby. Right off the uh, bat. The question again in the category of law and order. You will find statues filled with counterfeit money in which law and order movie? What the fuck is happening? You know what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. I can't tell you right now, but I'll tell you later. Okay. You know what you, you, know what you did. I know nothing. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Coho. Lethal Weapon 4. And Jacoby. I think it's Rush Hour 2. Rush Hour 2 is the correct answer. Ooh. So Jacoby hits that one. Your next question is going to be in the category of the worlds of DC. What superhero name has Freddy given himself? In Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Oh. What did I do? I can't tell you right now. I'm so confused. Um. Just Was this a plan? You guys said, like, we're going to fuck with Tim all of round one or something like that. Look at the bottom. Oh. Jerk. Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? You know. And I will say, this airs before that, right? Yeah. Okay, five, four, three, sure. two, one. Pens down. Is this the first time we're seeing each other since that happened, maybe? No, it's yeah. not. We had a match last night. Uh, let's go to Go. Is it Captain Amazing? And Jacoby. I also guessed Captain Amazing. Wow, interesting. Uh, the answer was Captain Every Power. Captain oh. every power. So on Save the right wavelength, track. you know. Uh, but Nick, what is the next question? Third question comes in the category of Star Wars. Which Star Wars character has lost their head, arm, and leg? So one of them, no one's gonna know what we're talking about, but we're gonna talk about it. Yeah, talking code. One of them uh was not my choice. Um, I said, What do you what do you want? And, and they picked something. Um, second, the second one was uh, you pick anything. And I had to say, well, what is, <laughs> what is yeah. someone going to yeah. suck? Shut up. <laughs> Five, three, You're the two, worst. one, pens down. Let's go to Jacoby. I said Dooku. And uh, Koho. C-3PO. C-3PO oh. is the correct answer. So uh, we are all tied up one apiece. Your next question is in the category of Marvel. How does Mystique kill her guard in the prisoner convoy in X-Men The Last Stand? Um, I messaged you about this. Cody will totally understand where I'm at. I know that he's a fan, but um, I've been watching uh, X-Men The Animated Series. Mm-hmm. So many reference, like the live action films took so much from that show that I had no clue about. Like well, that, that show took so much from, but I'm saying like direct lines and stuff that like oh. don't seem like they're directly from comics. Five. Interesting. Yeah. That's Three. cool. Two. It, it, it actually is very fun. One pens down. Uh, Koho snaps his neck and uh, Jacoby. So it breaks his neck. That is correct. Uh, so two to two. Nick, what's next? Next question comes in the category of DreamWorks. 
What action movie star voices Master Croc in Kung Fu Panda 2? Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it because the new X-Men animated show is out. Apparently it's quite good. Uh, but I'm only on season two of the... Uh, of how many? Uh, five. Five of seasons. 97? What? Of 90, like of, that's why it's called 97? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's 13 episodes a season, though, and they're only like 19 minutes long, so it's not that bad. It's been an easy, very brisk watch. Very fun. Very fun. This season only has 10 episodes. Four. Fun mm -hmm. pack for you. 13 times 96. Hands down. Let's go to Coho. I said Dolph Lundgren. And Jacoby. I said John Claude Van Damme. John Claude Van Damme is correct. So Jacoby takes the lead three to two. Your next question is in the category of the Wizarding World. Who carries Blaze Zabini out of the burning room of requirement in Deathly Hallows Part 2? Blaze Zabini. <laughs> I struggled oh. with that one, Nick. How do you, how did how did I do? Um You've done worse. That's fair. So, oh, I have something else to say. I don't have enough time to do it now, but it is important and I, it's about Anna. I need to tell you on the next question. It's important. Can we like call her in? Yes. Three. Anna. Two. One. Anna has something down. to tell you. Well, it's to both of you. Uh, Jacoby, we'll go to you. I said Ron. And uh, you, Caleb. Ron Weasley. <laughs> uh, Ron is correct. I forgot your name for a second. Uh, four to three is correct. Nick, what's next? Your next question comes in the category of Pixar. Who is the first member of Uzma Kappa to take on the Scare Simulator after Sully says that Mike should go last in the final event of the Scare Games in Monsters University? Ooh. has something okay. to tell us. So a couple days ago, we filmed a match in which I said, oh, I'm horrible at pronouncing things. And I made a joke and I said, you know, like the word Klingon. Uh. I had not seen the match that Anna hosted. I then edited the match Anna hosted that she mispronounced the word Klingon. So I wanted to be clear that that was not a shot at Anna at all. And it purely was coincidental. I did actually hear that comment. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that's because, like, whatever. Nope. It wasn't offensive, but I thought it was funny. Three, four, three, two. Well, I was sitting there editing and I went, holy shit, Maggie was great. <laughs> uh, let's go to Jacoby. Uh, Art. And Coho. Don. Don is correct. So Coho ties it up four to four. Your next question is in the category of sci-fi icons. In Back to the Future, part three, what does Marty give to Doc to save him and Clara from falling off the speeding train? I almost said Clara, what? but I don't think that's right. She give him um, the mania in the closet. No, I don't think it's very funny. Um, Did you tell Anna what I said about her performance in that match, though. He said you suck. That is not what I said. <laughs> I said the match was very good. He probably wishes I could host with him instead of you. I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> Store. Pick it up right now. Two, one, pens down. We're gonna start with Coho on this one. A rope and Jacoby. I said gravity board. I would take gravity board. Gravity board is correct. Hoverboard, yeah. Hover, hoverboard, yeah. Uh, but five to four in favor of Jacoby. Nick, what's next? Your next penultimate question comes in the category of horror icons. How many Friday the 13th movies feature a final confrontation with the killer that takes place in a barn? <laughs> Your thoughts on barns? Um, um, smelly. Yeah, kind of smelly. Yeah. Um, I'm leaving in a couple days for a conference in Phoenix. Is it in a barn? No, uh, it is not. It is in a swanky hotel. I just thought of something else I have to tell you. Five, four, three, two. It has to do with conferences. One. Pens down. Let's go to Jacoby. He said three. And Coho. I thought I might have forgotten one, so I shot up and said four. 
three. <laughs> Correct. We were looking for three. The answers being part three, part five, and 2009. So your final question of the round. Nick, I have the score before that at six to four. Is that what you have? Yep. Okay. So the final question of the round is in the category of epic adventures. Which epic adventures sequel was directed by Michael Apted? No question mark in this match or in this question. Interesting. Um, Maggie is going to a conference in New York. Yeah. First week of May. Okay. Which she said I can come with, but she'll be too busy to do anything with me. <laughs> Just say, Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Five, right. one, three. <laughs> Two, one, pens down. We're going to go to co-op. The Chronicles of Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. How'd you write that much? Uh, let's go to Jacoby. I had to scribble Chronicles of Narnia, but I said Prince Caspian. Uh, Coho is correct. Voyage of the Dawn Treader is the answer. So Coho cuts into that lead a little bit. It is now six to five in favor of Jacoby. Is that what you have, Nick? That's what I have, Tim. All right. So Jacoby has two repeats remaining. Coho has all three. Both challenges are intact. How's round number two going to work? Nick? Round number two is going to work like this. It is the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight fandom categories on it, as well as spinners and opponents' choice. Each player will get a spin at the wheel. If you like it, they spin the first time. They can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. They'll get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points of these, unless they get down to multiple choice, in which case it'll only be worth one. Be on the lookout as stealings available in round number two. Uh, your categories on the wheel today are Star Wars, Star Trek, Disney Animation, Law and Order, Criminal Underworld, James Bond, Creature Features, and YA. Take it away, Tim. All right, Jacoby, you're in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer to Mr. Coho? Um, I will defer, please. All right, Caleb, this is going to be your first spin. Ooh, oh. lands on opponent's choice. Oh, yeah, Cody's not here. I was waiting for Cody's angelic voice to. Uh, <laughs> um, Jacoby, you should give me Star Wars. Yeah, I think so. Right? It seems like a tough one. Um, I'm gonna give you Bond. All right, uh, Nick, would you please go ahead and give Caleb his questions in the category of Jimmy B? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Coho, I'll be giving you your questions in the category of Jimmy B. Are you prepared for them? Sure, let's do it. Your first question. A henchman kills a shark that belonged to the main villain in which James Bond film? I'll go to multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, live and let die, B, the man with the golden gun, C, the spy who loved me, or D, Moonraker? Five, four, living like that. That is incorrect. Jacoby, chance for the one point steal. Your options again are A, live and let die, B, the man with the golden gun, C, the spy who loved me, or D, Moonraker. Um, crap, I forgot what he said. <laughs> crap. Um, because I think it's the one he didn't say, because I don't think it's uh, five. Let's see. It might be the same one, but we'll see. C. C is correct for the one-point steal. So now oh, your second question. Who plays Felix Leiter in License to Kill? Oh, God. That... Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, Jeffrey Holder, B, David Hedison, C, Norman Burton, or D, Jack Lord? Um, I need the options again, sorry. Sure. Your options again are A, Jeffrey Holder, B, David Hedison, C, Norman Burton, or D, Jack Lord. Uh, B as in boy. That is correct for one point. Go, oh, your third question. While attempting to read each other on the train to the poker game, what fact do Vesper and Bond discover that they have in common in Casino Royale? Uh, 
They're both orphans. That's correct for two points and the lead. All right, couple of your penultimate question. How does Valentin Zukovsky die in The World Is Not Enough? Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are is it A, shot, B, strangled, C, an explosion, or D, stabbed? Explosion. That is incorrect. Jacoby Chance with a one point steal. Your options again are A, shot, B, strangled, C, an explosion, or D, stabbed? If this is Hagrid, then I think he's shot. That is correct for a one point steal and a tie game. It is Hagrid. It is Hagrid. good to know. I couldn't remember who it was. <laughs> And Coho, your final question in James Bond. In The Man with the Golden Gun, Scaramanga's evil plan involves selling a device to someone who will then have a monopoly on what kind of power? Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, nuclear, B, solar, C, hydroelectric, or D, wind? Nuclear. <laughs> That is incorrect. Jacoby Chance for the one point steal. Your options again are A, nuclear, B, solar, C, hydroelectric, or D, wind. And there's a scene with the big sun, so I'm going to say uh, solar. That is correct for a one point steal. Well, you better fucking hit that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what if I missed that one, Tim? You'd be so like, God damn. I would have, <laughs> would have reached through this computer and strangled you. Uh, so at the end of that, Jacoby gets his total up to nine and Cole gets his total up to eight. Is that what you have, Nick? That's what I have, Tim. All right, so we're going to bring them back the wheel, uh, and we're going to do the spin for Mr. Bancroft whenever you are ready, Nick. Sounds good. Here we go. <laughs> Kobe, it lands on the wars in the stars. Spin again, please. Okay, this is what you're going to be stuck with, Mr. Bancroft. Ooh, double Ooh. opponent's choice. There we go. So it also right. lands on opponent's choice. Coho, you now get to pick what Kobe what gets. I will get. What a break. Um, yeah, let's give you Star Wars. Okay. All part of the plan, you fool. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Jacoby, I'll be giving you your questions in the category of Star Wars. Are you ready? Fuck. No. Okay. <laughs> It's all part of the plan, fool. Oh, my God. All right, Jacoby, your first question. Which Star Wars film is the only one to feature a rebel flying a TIE fighter? The Force Awakens. That is correct for two points. I'm not going back to Jakku. Okay, uh, your yeah, next, that's... your next <laughs> question, Jacoby. How many times was Eunice Suetomo the only person to portray Chewbacca in a Star Wars film? I butchered that name. I'm sorry. I'll go multiple. All right. Your options are A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, or D, 5. I'm going to go 2. That is incorrect, Caleb. Chance for a one-point steal. Your options again are A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, or D, 5. 3. 3 is correct for one point. Films being eight, nine, and solo, I believe. Hmm. Your next question, Jacoby. In A New Hope, what is the name of the area on Tatooine where Ben finds Luke after being attacked by sand people? Um... Go. Multiple choice, please. All right, your options are A, Kelvin Ridge, B, Jundland Wastes, 
C, Nima Outpost, or D, Tarillion Plains? <laughs> um, my only logic is that Kelvin wasn't around, unless it was named, if all the Kelvin stuff was named after this. I don't think it was. Help me, code. Maybe. I'm going to go with uh, five. Uh, D. Four. D is incorrect. Caleb, chance for a one point steal. Is it A, Kelvin Ridge, B, Jundland Wastes, C, Nima Outpost, or D, Tarillion Plains? Okay, two of these mixed up, so I hate you guys for putting it both together. B is in boy. That is correct for one point. Which one was All B, Star but... Wars things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Junlin Wastes. Junlin Wastes. I only know that because of the Lego game. All right. So, Jacoby, your next question. What is this, three In, or four? Three. This is question four. Sweet. <laughs> In Revenge of the Sith, the first time we see Anakin's dream about Padme dying, who is the only other person in his dream besides Padme? Is this the dream change? Let's go multiple to be safe. Multiple All right, your please. options are A, Yoda, B, Shmi, C, Qui-Gon, or D, Obi-Wan. I don't think it's the first time. I'll go Yoda. That is incorrect. Caleb Chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, Yoda, B, Shmi, C, Qui-Gon, or D, Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan Kenobi. That is correct for one point and a tie game. <laughs> and Jacoby, <laughs> your little who. Uh, all right, your final question, Jacoby, in the round. Yeah. In Return of the Jedi... How do the Ewoks nearly kill Luke and Han before C-3PO convinces them to stop? We're tied right now? Okay. Yes. Um, I'm, I'll swing for it. Let's see. Uh, Three. How's it, by cooking them. Basically, with fire. That is correct for two points. With fire. <laughs> I was like, maybe you cook with you cook with water, I guess. <laughs> All right. So Nick, at the end of round number two, I got Jacoby in the lead with 13, but with the steals, Coho's up to eleven. Is that what you have? That's what I have, Tim. All right, how's round number three gonna work? Round number three is going to work like this. It is the betting round. We have five more questions been around the round of fights. Once the players hit a category, they can bet anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If they get the question correct, they'll gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they'll lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the net. Players, any questions? Are we get in round number three. Nope. This is exciting, isn't it, Coho? Oh, my God. My heart is in my throat right now. <laughs> Go, Tim. <laughs> All right. The first category you guys can bet points on is Pixar. Let's get bets, starting with Jacoby. So two points. And Coho. Two. All right, your question in the category of Pixar. What is the first name of either one of Ian and Barley's parents in Onward? Ah, names, oh. questions, suck, you sons of bitches. Okay, um. If they made a sequel to this film, I know you, and you like very simple stuff, like Onward two yeah uh is that what you would name the sequel or would you do something like backwards i would call it on word two where would they go next do they have an uncle that passed away maybe oh, <laughs> three two one <laughs> let's go to um uh, said mark no, uh, but great name and coho. I said Joanne. No, both oh. are incorrect. So the answers we were looking for were Laurel or Wilden. Uh, so uh, Jacoby <laughs> will lose two points and go down to 11. 
Coho loses two and goes down to nine. Uh, Nick, what's the next category? Next category we have points on is Star Trek. Let's get back, starting with Caleb. Two. And Jacoby. I guess zero. All right. Coho hits this. He ties it up. If he misses it, he'll be down by four. Nick, what's the question? Your question is Star Trek. Which Star Trek film features the Galileo space shuttle that crash lands inside the Enterprise? I would not want the responsibility of working on the Enterprise. It seems like a lot of work. Maybe if you're just like the guy who serves lunch, sure. But also, you're probably one of the first to go when shit hits the fan. Yeah. But what a way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Talk, Plus, talk. if you're related to Ian and Barley, apparently. Was, you can... <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. Ian the secret. <laughs> Four, three, two. Question. That's the first repeat for Coho. Question again. Which Star Trek film features the Galileo space shuttle that crash lands inside the Enterprise? Is crash land one word? No. Yeah, yeah, I don't, it's not, right? Um, did you ever play the Star Wars Battlefront games as a child? Wasn't much of a gamer. I thought you played the GameCube. I yeah. guess they might not have been on GameCube. They were not. Uh, anyway, they just re-released them. Big fan. Enjoying myself. You re-released them? Yeah, like updated them, remastered them for like the 20th anniversary. So they like went, they took some old copies and went, <sighs> and then Pretty said, much. Oh, $100, please. Uh, $40. Uh, 35 3 2 one pens down, Jacoby. We're gonna start with you since you bet zero. I think it's the final frontier. And Caleb, the voyage home. The final frontier is the correct answer. <clears throat> Coho loses two more points, goes down to seven. It is seven to eleven. The next category you can bet points on is YA. Let's get bets starting with Jacoby. I went zero again. All right, and Caleb. Two, no choice. All right, here's the sitch. If Caleb hits this, we move on to the next question. If Caleb misses, then the game will go to Jacoby. Your question in the category of the YA is the YA. What the fuck? YA. Your question is <laughs> in Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2, what information does Carlisle announce that makes Jacob reveal where Bella is to her father, Charlie? Um, I've been rewatching these movies the last couple weeks. This is the only one I've yet to rewatch. It is sitting right there. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Interesting. Mm. Cool. Five. Four. Three. Two. Eight. All right. That is the second repeat for Caleb. In Twilight, Breaking Dawn Part 2, what information does Carlisle announce that makes Jacob reveal where Bella is to her father, Charlie? What'd you have for dinner? Tacos. Seven tacos. Oh, dude, I'm just... Did you go out or did you make them at home? Made them. Nice. I'm like a chef. Maggie's real like one of her specialties is tacos. She's real, yeah. There, mm. but you know, you know that movie Chef? Oh, the, one of my favorites of all time. That's me. Yes, I'm a chef. Five, four, make tacos. Three, two, one. Pens down. Jacoby, we're going to you first. Coho seems to be writing a novel, but I just put like she's dying. And Caleb, um, I said the council is coming for her baby. And your winner, Jacoby Bancroft. The answer we were looking for is that the Cullens have to leave town, have to leave Forks. Uh, Nick, thoughts on the match? Uh, good match. Be like, genuinely back and forth. I think if you go back and rewatch round one, um, it was gross. They pretty much, 
didn't hit the same question the whole time. Like if if one of them hit, the other one missed pretty consistently throughout round one. And then the same thing happened in round two. They both went two for five, and the other person got three steals, both on opponent's choice. Like this was as evenly matched as it could go. I think it just all came down to Coho taking a swing and that swing just missing. Um, but when you're down against a person who's playing at your level, sometimes you got to take those swings and they don't always work. But uh, today, the story is different. I'd love to see a third match between these two, but now they're Absolutely. one. Absolutely. So let's go talk to the players right now in the post-match interviews. Caleb Coho, um, first time back in the loser's circle, uh, as it is, since you came back. You lost to a player who is very much on the up and up. Obviously, he's got a belt uh, around his waist now. And you played a very good match in your first match back, which kind of dispelled any rumors that you were going to come back rusty or, or un unable to hang, so, uh, as it were. Um, like I said, I think you guys played pretty evenly up until round three when you took a swing that he didn't. And that's what turned the tides. Um, am I seeing this correctly or, or how to go for you? Yeah, I just played really sloppy. Um, I bet, I bet big when I didn't need to. Uh, I, I played very rookie betting uh, because I got very scared about what was coming. I was like, I could hit a two in track. Can I hit a two? I might be able to hit a two in track. Can I hit a two in something else? And then when I missed the two in track, it's like, oh, that's it. That's bad. There's not a lot of ground to come back as soon as why I came up. Um, probably shouldn't have put a bet on track. I have not brushed up as much on track as I should have. Um, Round one, I had two misses where it was literally I should I was I was holding on to repeats for the betting round and I shouldn't have because if I use the repeats, I probably get to Jean Claude Van Damme. Um, it's it's those where it's just they're they're there but the recall's not back yet, um, and that's that's frustrating for me um, to know that I could have played better. Uh, but Jacoby played great uh, and on double opponents. Uh, you know, there's there's no luck involved. Jacoby would just play better today. Uh, and that's all there is to it. So um, I'm glad it wasn't a spinner's opponents, just like for both of us. Uh, if it was spinner's opponents and this was just like an absolute beat down, I would have been like, well, that that shakes the confidence. But then like, at least this way, it was like, all right, cool. I mean, we're, we're both still somewhat here, <laughs> him way more than me. Uh, so um, I definitely got to clean up some stuff. And um, I'll be back, I guess. We'll see. Yeah, you will. Coho, the next time we see you, I believe, will be in the summer tournament. Uh, with your record, uh, you will be in the lower half of the 16 person seat. You will be in the 9 to, to 16 range. Um, but I would say that you're a pretty scary low seed to face, and it wouldn't be the first time you've played spoiler uh, in situations like that. So I don't see you as a person to back down against a challenge, against being that person to maybe upset people who are expected to win the whole thing. So with that being said, who are you hoping to face off against in the tournament? Uh, I love tournaments. Tournament time is my favorite time of the year, and I love being a lower seed in said tournaments because uh, there's no pressure. Um, and I've played, like you said, in every tournament where I've been a lower seed, I've at least gotten out of the first round. Uh, so I'm hoping that continues. Uh, the, I think the last time I was an eight seed, I made it to the semifinals. So that so in the nine range, it's a similar playing field. Um, I have not an inkling of an idea as to some of the people who could necessarily be in the range of where I could play someone, but I know people who could be. Um, I'd love to play Tyler Birch if Birch is around. Would love to play Tyler. Uh, that's someone that one one on one would be great. Um, if Javi's in the in there, I'd love to rematch Javi. Uh, I I want to I want to avenge the retirement loss uh, a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll take on anyone but Birch, Javi, and I hear Eli McKegg's back. Let me get the three peat on you, buddy. Let me get that third straight dub on your ass. I do uh, believe so he called you out, so that great that would be a grand time. Coho, congrats on a match well played. Sorry it didn't go your way, but we will see you uh, real soon in the tournament. Oh, Jacoby Bancroft. Luck doesn't run out, and I wouldn't even call this mostly luck. There was maybe like one lucky moment where I was like, oh, I guess the luck's not like too bad. I think you like guessed a number at one point or something like that. I did. Um, but outside of that, you played a very good match deserving to win, and I noticed you doing something, and apologies if this gives away any of your strategy, but I noticed you do something that proves you are paying attention to more than just like the movies and the not you're like you're paying attention to the strategy. 
you got a category in round three that you liked very much, so you bet on it and didn't know it. And so I think you stopped betting from that point on, uh, without a manager telling you because maybe the questions were out of caliber where if you, you couldn't hit the one that you think you know well, maybe you're not going to hit the rest. You wound up hitting some of the others, which is good, but that was a very smart play I noticed. Um, don't know if it was on purpose or if you were just like, I don't want to bet anything anymore because um, it, you didn't feel that old today. Yeah. But. It was kind. It was. It was that. I was just like crap. If that's the. If that's the kind. It's like I know some Trek. I don't know all of Trek. But then it sucks because it's like, and I, and I felt bad about that one because. But then that didn't really work out for me because I knew that question right, and then it would have been. I don't know if it would have been over then. I guess there would have been another chance to. I don't know how that math works out. So I thought it screwed me in the over, like not following my usual strategy of betting two every time because it doesn't matter. Um, but usually I only do that because I'm down so much in, in round three. So like I kind of have to, but. No, that was that was great. That was fun. That was exciting. Um, hats off to Coho. He played. He played. He played great. Um, and it just, I just got, you know, just had the slight edge in in, a, in some certain ways. But I mean, that was. I, I as you, I struggled through those Star Wars questions a lot, and I just, you know, <laughs> knew the ones that I knew, and luckily came out. I just kind of you, word vomited at the end there. Well, Jacoby, you are you are the person that either knocks the other person out. Or is losing by so much in round three and then comes back to win <laughs> anyway. So what versatility after Coho's opponent's choice round, I was like, this is knockout Jacoby. And then I was like, no, this is Jacoby who wants to let the opponent catch up so that he can make a miraculous comeback in the end. But I think yeah. it was a happy medium where it was Jacoby who was playing to the level of his very good opponent and then used strategy and knowledge and gameplay. To uh, to see look the match, uh, I like that Jacoby, and I, I wonder if we will see that Jacoby again as you move on to your first ever singles number one contender match in fandom. Do I have that correct? That's a good question. You would know better than I would. I would um, know, and I think that's correct. <laughs> have um, I never made it that far? Wow, I'm on a I'm on a streak. I'm doing well. You've been, um, you've been close before, but this is this is uh, your first sort of shot at the big dance, if you will. I I think so because I think last time. Do we know who we? I'm playing like I'm playing at this. Point I know who Eric. you're playing, but they don't know. They yet don't. Okay, so it's like okay. So then it's yeah. Okay, so then I yeah. I don't think I've ever been to this situation before. So it's exciting. It's new. Everything's new this year, and it's and it's it's nice. <laughs> it's very exciting. And Jacoby, I'll give you the two options of who you could be playing. You'll either be okay. playing co-host teammate, the other returning player, Thomas Scully, or your very own teammate, Amaru Moses. Uh, thoughts, preferences. Ooh. How do you think that'll go? Both of those would be great because well, it would be cool to like. I don't think I've ever done that. Maybe I have before, but it's like the one-two punch of like a, of a team, like getting them both out. Usually, it's like a matter of like you know, one member of the team beats me, then I beat the other member of the team. It's like this weird triangle. So it'd be that would be poetic in a sense, but also I would want to beat both players. But Scully and Rue are like two of the best, so like I don't want to face either of them. But playing Rue again would be awesome as well because I think. Because you mentioned the number one contenders, I think he beat me last time to get to the number one contenders match That's right. um, uh, last year. So, like both of those are pretty exciting. So, either way, I'm I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to dance, as you as you you mentioned to dance. I'm happy to dance. <laughs> Sounds good, Jacoby. We'll keep on dancing. We'll keep cheering for you, and we'll, um, we'll see you in your uh, number one contender match. Thank you. Nick, fantastic match. Uh, Coho played his heart out. I think he played really well. And I think that him going up against Eli is something I would love to fucking see because I have been there for both of those Eli matches and that motherfucker's called Coho out both times. Uh, but on the other side of things, Jacoby playing either Scully or Rue, that's nasty. Um, because, you know, Scully didn't play as great in that first match that he returned in, but you know when he's going up against someone like Rue, he's really going to bring the thunder, and Rue is obviously a current team's champion who's going to fight to also get to that singles belt. So I think either way, we're in for a good one uh, wherever Jacoby's going to next. So this has been great. Thank you to Jacoby. Thank you to Caleb. Thank you to Nick for writing. I have been Tim. We will see you guys next time with another great fandom fights match. Until then. Have a great night. Bye-bye.